Okay, find the derivative from first principles. We have 1 over x, which means our f of x is 1 over x, and our f of x plus h that we're going to need is 1 over x plus h. Nothing too bad. So the derivative is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h. minus f of x all over h. We have a difference of fractions here, so common denominator is probably going to help. This first fraction needs an x. This second fraction needs an x plus h. And now we write it out again and see if it looks any better limit as h goes to 0. We have x minus x and also minus h over the denominator x, x plus h. And instead of dividing by h, I'm going to do that thing where I put 1 over h instead. Now, these x's cancel, so we're left with negative h over x, x plus h, times 1 over h. The h's cancel. So now we're down to limit as h goes to 0, minus 1 over x, x plus h. If h goes to 0, that just vanishes, and we end up with our derivative dy dx being minus 1 over x squared.